Hi guys, it's time for another respiration exam practice session. Uh, we're going over the fundamentals and this is question two. So like I said before, just the basics here, not too much application. So here's a legacy exam question. Um, and we've got two stages here of aer aerobic respiration illustrated. So we'll just highlight the fact that it's aerobic respiration. Um, our first stage, we've got glucose being converted to pyruvate. Now, immediately, your alarm bells in your head should be ringing and saying, right, this is glycolysis. So we'll just scribble that in. There we go. And then the place where people get confused is this second stage. This second stage is where pyruvate is converted to carbon dioxide plus water. Now, most people think, oh, yeah, that's link reaction or that is Krebs cycle. It's not. It's link reaction Krebs cycle. And because we're getting water produced, it's the electron transport chain as well. So this is link Krebs and ETC or oxidative phosphorylation. So let's have a look, see what the question wants us to do. Uh, each of the events or descriptions in the table applies to one or both of the stages. Tick the appropriate box to show which uh, to show the stage or stages in which each is involved. Okay, so first one, glycolysis. Well, we've already identified that stage one is glycolysis. So let's give that a tick. So stage two can't be glycolysis as well. That's fine, we can move on. Second question is asking which of the stages takes place inside the mitochondrion, inside the mitochondrion. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm, which is where the enzymes are uh, for glycolysis to occur. It's link Krebs and the electron transport chain that take place inside the mitochondrion, either in the matrix or on the inner mitochondrial membrane where it's folded into the cristae. So let's have a look at the next one. Acetyl coenzyme A is involved. Well, glucose to pyruvate, nope, not involved there, so it's not stage one. But in link reaction, link reactions where we form acetyl CoA and Krebs cycles where we use it, so definitely stage two. ATP is synthesized from ADP. Well, you know, we do get some ATP formed in, in glycolysis, and we also get some formed in Krebs as well, and definitely on the electron transport chain. So this is the both, definitely both here. And then finally, this is the one that sometimes foxes people, reduced NAD is reoxidized. okay? So it's the reduced coenzyme being converted back into NAD. Now, in glycolysis, NAD is reduced, so it's not there. In link, nothing happening exciting there. In Krebs, NAD is still reduced, but then at the electron transport chain, reduced NAD is oxidized, so it's stage two. So note that this question is worth five marks down here. So to get those five marks, you've got to get every single one of these correct. So one mark for each row. There we go. And that's it. That is the second question in my series of the fundamentals of respiration, a 